What's up everybody? This video is to go over the new Lynx binding from 22 Designs. I am super excited about this offering from 22. They only made 600 pairs this year. Most of them are sold out. So if you can get your hands on a pair, definitely recommend it. Otherwise you'll have to wait till next year. But this little puppy weighs in at 1000 grams in the large and it's uh, 960 grams for uh, the small binding. Uh, amazing product. It's a full tech toe, uh, their own tech toe that they've made. It has a composite flex plate and a super easy step in. And then they've now added a dual hammer heel with the dual climbing wires. So I'm gonna uh, show you guys how this thing is assembled and put onto a ski. Okay, so we've got the main parts that we're gonna be assembling. Uh, there's not a ton of parts, which is kind of nice and easy to put together. So right here, you've got uh, a machined aluminum toe piece, includes your tech toes. It's all one piece put together. There's the boot stop. That's a little guide for your toes to, uh, to go into the tech toe much easier. Pivot strap. This is the part that's going to go over the top of the main plate and the flex plate and allow your slick pin to go through. Main plate, flex plate. You got your spring assembly. It comes like this in the box, so it's got the dual spring assembly with the claw attached to it. And there are some optional spacers that you can add on the back here. You can go two per side on the large or one per side or one per binding uh, for the small. So that gives it kind of that stiffy effect like the vise and the axle. And then your dual heel riser. Cool part of the, about this too is it comes assembled and all put together for you. So there's no tricky holding it as you're putting it on to mount. It's already done for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the spring assembly and the toe piece and underneath the toe piece you'll notice that there's a little horseshoe here and that's where your cable's going to run through here. So the easiest way I've found is basically just centering it on that and just kind of hold it down with your thumb and then I can just kind of angle it in here and give it a nice tug downward to make sure that it's in the groove all the way. Just kind of push it on in there. And that's how you do that section. The next part is we're gonna take the little boot stop and we're gonna put that in underneath. At that point, you can line it up to your holes. I'm using a ski that's got some inserts in it, so no drilling necessary at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the ski. I generally like to use a diamond pattern, kind of crisscrossing across the binding just to kind of even things out as I'm going along. And that seems to seat it nicely to the ski. The Lynx also uses the six hole pattern that all of the other bindings from 22 Designs, uh, from the hammerhead through the axle and the vise. So for those familiar with the 22 bindings, uh, it's a easy process. Once you fasten the toe piece down and tightened all your screws up, 
the next thing you're going to do is take your main plate and you kind of put the claw up a little bit and I like to put the front of the binding down just to give me a little more space to kind of get in here because what we're going to do is insert the main plate into this plastic piece back here. You'll notice there's two little rounded spots. Those go towards the front and will seat nicely into the toe piece. You'll see it you'll see it fits real nicely there. Dropped a couple pieces, but we're all good. And from here you want to kind of pull back a little bit and those two little rounded spots will fit right into this little section right here. And that's your main plate. After that, we're going to take the flex plate. There's a glossy side and a rough side. You want glossy side up and you're going to insert it right on top of the main plate into the same grooves. It's got those little rounded sections as well that go right in there. Now we're going to take the pivot strap. Pivot strap's going to go right over here. You'll notice that the slick pins here, you can choose one, two, or three, depending on what kind of activity you like in the binding. One's going to have a more neutral feel, which is closer to the toe. Position two in the center. And then the most active setting is position three on the back. And that pivot strap's just gonna snap right over the top of those two and line up perfectly with the holes. You're then gonna take your slick pin, just like the outlaw slick pin, and you're gonna put it through one side. Line up the hole and just guide it through till you get a little click. And that concludes the front portion of the binding. It's all put together and ready to go. You're then gonna wanna take your hammer heel. And like I said, it's already assembled, which is super nice and uh, really easy. You basically just grab and go and put it on the ski. And that's it. That's how you assemble the Lynx binding. Eight hole pattern mounted on the ski. Super easy to use. And uh, basically from there, the only other thing to kind of show you is the step in. And uh, I'm sure we'll do future videos on this as we're kind of reviewing it and show you guys more. Uh, basically to go into tour mode, you just pull this out of the way. And if you're going to step in, you're basically going to put the toe of the boot in and just step down and this will engage the second heel. And that, my friends, is how to assemble the new Lynx binding from 22 Designs. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll have future videos showing uh, more of the features and how it skis.